Greetings, my fellow Clashers. It is your host, Galadon. Thank you for checking out the Let's Play Together series brought to you by Feature Points and, of course, Clash of Clans Attacks. We've got a lot of exciting stuff going on today, and I just wanted to remind you that as long as the Let's Play series is running, we will be running giveaways. In fact, right now we've got a huge giveaway, a giant giveaway of over $500 in gift cards, so be sure to check that out. Make sure that you download Feature Points and register so that you can be entered in that drawing to win. Uh, if you don't know how, just check out the video here. It'll fill you in real quick. Just make sure you use that referral code Galadon and you're not only helping yourself get free gems and free apps, but you can also help move this series forward, help support the Let's Play Together series. And that's what we're doing right now. Let's get moving forward. Let's talk about Town Hall 5. And by the end of this video, a new clan and yes, Town Hall 6. And we are starting out with a replay here from, well, let's just call him White. And this was the number one top loot gaining farming raid in the history of the full attack clan. Uh, definitely, uh, probably at any town hall level, an impressive take. Over 628,000 in loot. And it actually looks like the defender here was planning on being gone for a long time. Very kindly moved most of his collectors and mines outside away from the defenses. It was just there for the taking the perfect opportunity uh, white stumbled across this raid took out the town hall and well over half a million in loot just another reason why barbarians and archers are just about all you need up through town hall level five the loot is usually there for the taking you just want to upgrade those structures and move on and that's exactly what happened here but honorable mention does go out to Buckeye Gal. She also had a raid of well over 600,000 in loot. This was a much lower level town hall that she found. But again, barbarians and archers were all that she needed to effectively get in and take all of those collectors, all of those mines, and some of the storages as well, walking away with over 621,000 in loot. So if you are Town Hall 567 and you're wondering what might be a good trophy range to farm, I would definitely say based upon our experience over the past week or so, Silver 2, we saw a lot of huge raids like this, offers of over a million in resources, and again, just taking barbs and archers to collect all of that gold and elixir. But in the spirit of adventure, I did try a few other raid compositions, including taking out an army of mostly balloons, uh, quickly learning that level 2 balloons are probably misnamed. I think they're supposed to be called Japanese Sky Lanterns because they did react like they are made of paper and dropping candles. I'm sure my deployment method had something to do with this Galafail, uh, but at Town Hall 5, I think that level 2 balloons and level 2 wizards, they're just expensive. They take a long time to train. Probably best to wait to use them on the battlefield later on when they've had a chance to upgrade a little bit more. But we did have some successes on defense as well. This one here from Master48, defending against a higher level Town Hall attack, a giant healer, which is something we'll definitely get into at Town Hall 6. And it started off well enough for the attacker, lightened out all of those Clan Castle troops. But there you see is the big problem, that air defense is working on that healer. And if you fail to take out the air defense first in a giant healer attack, it is disaster for those airborne units. There is the last healer on the screen going down quickly and that is going to spell disaster for this very giant heavy raid an expensive raid to put together with all of those giants and the healers as well not a lot of archers to take the loot and as this raid wraps up this attacker will walk away with less than half of the gold and just a small fraction of the elixir now, I did have a couple of successful defenses at Town Hall 5, but I think this replay, much like the last one, is probably more accurately called an attack fail than a defensive win. Uh, at these lower Town Hall levels, you've just got to be super careful with your Tier 1 troops. They don't have a lot of hit points. You've got to watch out for those splash damage defenses, the Wizard Tower and the Mortars as well. You need to know where your units are going. Uh, as in the case of the last attack, you need to know Giants are only going after defenses. Here come some goblins at the top of the map, and of course they're going after the mines and collectors, anything that contains resources, and they're going to get wiped out by those splash defenses, as are the last of these archers and barbarians, and this attacker is going to walk away with only about 10% of the resources stolen. 
So it's been a solid week of hardcore barch farming at Town Hall 5 and we've gotten to the point now where we have upgraded all of our barracks to level 7 so we've unlocked wizards in all three barracks. All three of our army camps are maxed out at level 5. We've maxed out all of our defenses as well just making one last check. Wizard tower, mortars, cannons, archer towers as well. Everything completely maxed out. Nothing left to upgrade. One last check of the uh, laboratory here to make sure all the spells and units as high as they will go. So that is it. It is time to go to Town Hall level 6. And there we are, Town Hall 6. Normally it would take four days to get there. But again, thank you to Feature Points and you guys for signing up with Feature Points. We are able to skip right through this, finish it, 629 gems, Town Hall level 6. And sadly, it is time to leave my clan, start a new Town Hall 6 clan. I must say goodbye to the original Full Attack clan. But the good news is, is that means we've got a new Full Attack clan coming. It'll be open as soon as this video is released. And I will be accepting 47 new members. I'm just bringing two co-leaders from the first Full Attack Clan to help run things with the next Full Attack Clan. So if you are a Town Hall 6 and you want to come join the fun, Clan Wars, farming, we're going to max everything out. No Town Hall rushing. Come find me. The Clan hashtag will be in the description. I can't wait to see you guys here. So before you go, please be sure to subscribe for daily Clash of Clans content. Check out my other exciting videos. Download Feature Points and use that referral code GALADON. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with more Full Attacks. But before I go, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to all of those original members of the Town Hall 5 Full Attack Clan. Thanks for the fun, you guys were so cool. Thank you to White, Hunter25, CJB25, Illman, Lightning Fist, Baby Bass, Dragon X, Max Eclipse, Ty, Action Jackson23, Novato, Peter, Dr. Black, Karen, Madre La Papa, Buckeye Gal, Shadow Ninja0408, Platter, Master48, Calderon, T Global99, Bond, Silva, Tom the Great2, Ninja Master, Sugarfly, Dark Galaxy11, Prophet of Ewok, Chief to Say, Renato B, Lily10, GTT, Nova, Johan18, Light Ice, Emily, Optimus Hans2.0, Baka, Chaz Medical, Geo13, Spartaman18, Krypton Mark II, Riley, Unidentified, Herd Evergreen, Kevin II, Fatal X555, Nice Galley <laughs> Fatal X, Fatal X, Fat Alex555, and Chris Peacock. Thanks, you guys. Full attack. Start over, Galley Don. <laughs> I am not doing that again.